okay hello welcome to this uh, video in this video I'll show how we can create mapped mesh in this uh, you know organic uh, leg okay so what I have done I divided this leg into two parts right one is a mappable geometry and other is isn't a mappable geometry so this component isn't mappable right and the other component that I have in here is mappable how do I recognize within hyperworks I can just go in here from automatic I can just remove it and click on mappable yeah so while yellow color it will show the geometries or the parts which are mappable once I find out that it's mappable now I can just go into mesh go to solid mesh click on the geometry give the mesh size it will automatically detect the source and target once I'm good, I can just go into option and select what kind of mesh do I want. If say I'm looking for just quartz, I can select just quartz and just click on mesh. Right? So it will create the geometries from here. I'm able to change the density as well. So if I say I want this to be 40, this one to be 3 or 4, something like that, I can do. Even the biasing can be changed from in here. So biasing can be linear, exponential or bell curve. So let's say for initial, I'm good. I can just click on mesh. It will take some time and try to create a solid mesh. Okay. So here we have the solid mesh. Say so I just hide all the components. So this is a solid mesh. So if I just go into the cross section view, so cross section view. See, so it's a solid map mesh, right? All right, so let's say I'm good with this one. Now, let's just go out of the cross section tool. So I can just let's uh, now do it for second component. So we, we have in here the second component. So for now, we need to create a mesh for this one. So uh, there are multiple ways through which I can create the mesh. So I can just create generate mesh. Uh, initially, let's create a surface mesh. Again, if say I want to be having just quartz, I can apply quartz and just mesh it. Okay, so surface mesh has been created. Now for uh, solid mesh, I can just go into mesh controls. I'm just going to volume mesh and just select the elements from in here click ok and now I can just give the kind of mesh that I want this is a hex dominate size is again let's say 005 that we have and I can just right click and click on mesh ok so in here also mesh have been created so now if I just go back to the part so two meshes are in here let's hide all the components so here we have the meshed body right so once we are good uh, I can just go ahead and apply the boundary conditions so let's say in your case you have a boundary condition of say we just going to analyze you want enforced displacement at the bottom of the leg so I can just go into enforced displacement I can select the nodes on which I want to apply this enforced displacement either I can box select them or I can just select manually let's select certain nodes right even I can box select in here uh, there are six degrees of freedom in which I can apply let's say I want to apply in Z so let's apply in minus z no let's apply in plus z so plus z let's apply two units just enter and just create so it will create that very boundary condition of and